L-O-C-Q. L-O-C-Q. C-Q calling. C-Q calling. C-Q. C-Q, C-Q. C-Q calling. C-Q. C-Q, L-O-C-Q. L-O-C-Q calling. C-Q. C-Q calling. C-Q. L-O-C-Q. Hello, CQ. CQ calling CQ. Hello, CQ. CQ calling CQ. W2AAT calling. W2Alpha, Alpha Tango. Orville Finland, South Carolina calling CQ for enlisting. Yeah, just Kilo, Hotel Kilo, I'm not too sure of the, the first part of that, uh, this is W2A18. Um, yeah, thank you very much for coming back to my call. Yeah, we're up here at the, in the middle of the hinterlands, uh, trying to get away from all the activity, and, uh, trying to get a rag to so We do appreciate you coming back, although I did this the first part of your call. The name is Quirky, C-O-R-K-Y, Quirky. And uh, the QTH is Myrtle Village, South Carolina, which is up to a little community about 10 miles south of uh, Myrtle Beach uh, on the coast. So, uh, question mark to Hotel Kilo, uh, W2A18. Yeah, very good, Tom. I got it as KD6KHK. Uh, this is Whiskey 2 Alpha, Alpha Tango. I mean, yelling at my dog. Well, thank you very much for the, uh, the signal report. Uh, you're running uh, maybe an S7 to 8 here, uh, but that's, you know, it's a Scotch report, so so far you're doing pretty good. And the very good on the QTH. Uh, as I said, uh, we just uh, we just couldn't take all the the noise on the band, all the uh, the contesters and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with contesters. It's just but it's just too much mumble jumble with uh, activity. So we we found uh, the this area the first that is quiet. Uh, the time have a rag you. I'm running Kenwood TS 590. I'm running about 700 watts. And our engine is a W5GI missing at about 60 foot up in the air. Uh, and we just still working on it yesterday, today. It seems to be okay, hopefully. Uh, K6KHK, W2AAT. Good, Tom. Well, the FT900 just still had a good job for you, and uh, and the and the vertical. Uh, I uh, had researched um, um, uh, verticals that we um, uh, uh, about oh gosh, I don't know, about six months ago, um, we uh, we lost the, uh, the the antenna the WFI GI and. Um, it got, actually, what it did, the feed line broke, and the antenna was stranded up in the trees. <laughs> I couldn't get it down, and uh, I decided that maybe I would look, uh, you know, for a vertical. We do live in an HOA, and uh, so there's never going to be beams or, you know, monster antennas. Uh, fortunately, we do have woods in the back. And uh, so I thought, well, maybe, you know, I look at the vertical. So I did, uh, I looked at verticals, and I would have to have a, a flagpole vertical. 
So uh, we looked at the, at the flagpole verticals, and then uh, I would have to have a, a remote tuner uh, for the vertical, and I'm, I'm running 700 watts, so I would have to have a, uh, a big remote tuner to handle the, the power. And uh, um, I don't know, I was able to hire a guy who climbed a tree for $100, and uh, he brought uh, he brought the uh, the antenna down for me for a hundred dollars, and uh, the vertical with the tuner, uh, base price would have cost me seventeen hundred dollars. So I'm sitting there looking at a hundred dollars versus seventeen, you know, hundred dollars versus a hundred dollars. They look the same. I uh, I repaired the uh, the W5GI and uh, it's up. We did some tweaking this weekend, so uh, I, I feel pretty good about it. But I still think